What's up guys? Welcome to Hardware Junkies. I'm your host, Hardware Junkie Joe, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of plastic surgery on this AMD Radeon HD 6970 video card. <laughs> Alright, so just a couple of things that you're going to need uh, in order to do this. You're going to need a couple of screwdrivers from small to meaty, well, little, let's say small and smaller. Uh, another thing you're going to need, a little bit of TP, some isopropyl alcohol, I suggest 99%, this is 70%, it'll work. Um, some thermal paste and something to put some screws in just helps to you know so you don't lose anything also just so you guys know I'm kind of cheating uh, there's a website called PCAuthority.com I'm gonna Try to remember to put a link right up here to to this video or to this tutorial that I'm watching. It's actually on a 6870, but it's still by XFX, so it should basically be the same thing. Uh, if you guys would like to read and and have something to kind of follow instead of watching a video, you should check that out most definitely. Um, but I gotta re uh, reset up the camera and uh, we'll start getting into this thing. All right, so the first step is to take out these outside screws here on the PCB. You got 10 of them on this particular car. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And you just you know, use a magnetic screwdriver. It's a little bit easier. Um, as, you, as you take them out, make sure to put them in your little plastic deal keep them separated make sure you keep them separated because I mean, it, it just makes it a lot easier to put them back in to remember where to go and and all that it's it's just a lot easier I love this black PCB so nice looking I wish more video card manufacturers would put necklace on cards and only thing I'm going to make that plate I can go over for a living so I should be able to find one of those and basically layout one so anybody watching this video knows the website or, or uh, somewhere I can look that up that would be awesome please do the link below let me know and I'll be video about it because I'm so cool like that that's a bank works better but let's say sometimes it's you're gonna go this route. There are. Well, you guys can see this. There are three screws right here in the front. You have to take those out. This is where separating the screws in. Don't need these guys. Okay, now that all those are out, there are. I don't know if you guys can see this. There are three screws right here in the front. You gotta take those out. This is where separating the screws can come handy because these are a little bit smaller. I mean, I don't think anybody would actually put them in the wrong place because they're too small to fit. You should actually try to put a bigger screw in. These small holes to strip them out. That's not good. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure that they just put them back the way they came. Okay. And the last step is taking these four screws here out of the bracket. Um, right here it says void if removed. But I have contacted XFX and I registered my card when I first bought it and I got a lifetime warranty on it. And they said that they do not void warranties for taking the shroud off and cleaning the card and, and doing it doing maintenance on it so um, I'm getting a phone call I'll be right back all right sorry about that guys uh what you're gonna have to do is take these four screws out um, what I recommend is a very small screwdriver this is what I was talking about by having a couple of different sizes on hand take a little bit of screwdriver just take a little bit on here take a little bit on here be very careful not to strip it. And here, just poke through the paper. Like I said, be very careful not to strip these screws. Yeah. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. That's the advantage of having kids. You can probably still hear. But anyway, I'm still around. You know, he's going back and forth. You might be just going to go take one out at a time. Sorry, I'm just doing this because I'm weird. <clears throat> and also, because I need to go last room, so I'm going to twist the whole thing up. 
stuck on there from the thermal paste from the thermal pads so well, yeah that was on there pretty good it's not too bad now down here in the bottom that's where your fans hooked up so be careful not to tear that it's easier just to just flip it over this way and then unplug it So, as you can see, here's the thermal paste for your processor. Got a bunch of pads for the memory modules. I wonder if I can change those. Gonna have to look that up. See if I can change that to just straight thermal paste. I doubt it. You can see here, this, this pad right here it got pretty hot. All of them's gotten pretty hot. This, this carb runs extremely hot. Right now it's idling at 70 degrees Celsius. And when I'm playing a game, it is constantly at 90. I have to turn this fan up to at least 50% in order to keep it cool. And it's very, very loud. Um, all right, so. I thought I was gonna have to clean out this heat sink right here. But, you know, I know you can't see down in there, but it's not very dirty at all. So basically, I'm just going to take the, the pre-applied thermal paste out or off. I'm going to clean it off and put some new thermal paste on it, and I hope that helps. And I'm also going to look into these pads. All right, so the only thing I'm going to be doing is cleaning off this thermal paste here and thick cleaning off here and reapplying some new ones um, I don't need to take this off so I'm not going to and if you don't have to I wouldn't it's just common sense but uh, if you do have to take it apart well you're gonna have to go somewhere else for that uh, anyway uh, just take a regular piece of toilet paper Fold it up a couple times, like twice. Take your alcohol, pour it on there until it gets a little bit wet. And wipe until it's off. Probably gonna have to take a couple pieces of this toilet paper. Get it off. Wipe 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 off. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. Wipe it Literally, don't repeat all these alcohol. You can rise extremely fast. I mean, pretty much the thing I've been on here comes in from your eyes. So, that's why these alcohols are making else water is melted. So, yeah. I'll just run inside. I don't have to worry about that. Don't hurt anything. See that shiny Amy logo underneath? I'm gonna blow out with a picture of the TD Burkles. There you have it. Now it's clean. Now we're just gonna take a little bit of our. Arctic 5 or Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste and I like to just put a line kind of just down the center right here and just go a little bit this way and a little bit this way that's the way I like to do it there are other methods out there Pick and choose wisely. Um, 
Also, I like to take and put the board back on temporarily. Push it down. And this is just to see See how much more it, it kind of separates um, that's going to be plenty and then once you tighten it down it'll actually it'll spread out even more so it should be plenty uh, now I'm going to just put it back together the way I took it apart um, and check out the temps on it yeah so uh, if you want to know how to put it back together I'm not going to do all that on video just uh, play it in reverse I want to turn off the audio though, it'll be kind of, kind of hard to understand. Alright, okay. One thing I did want to mention was when you're putting this bracket back on, um, once you get all your screws lined up, just barely put them in just a little bit. This is, this is pretty important. That's why I wanted to mention it. Just put them in a couple of threads. Make sure it's lined up really good. Then you want to go in a star pattern. Um, it, and like I said, you don't want to tighten one all the way down. Just go a couple of turns, couple of turns, couple of turns, couple of turns, couple of turns. And this is just to press the heat sink down evenly. You don't want any air pockets in there. It'll it just helps with the heat dissipation on it. And you can see that it's going out pretty evenly. You can look at how far away these are from the board. And <clears throat> that'll show how evenly they're going down. You want them to go all down at the same time. You don't want to push one down all the way. And then Tighten the other ones up. You want to go in a crisscross pattern. Just like so. And there are springs on here that kind of help with you not putting on too much pressure. But you got to be, you know, you want them snug, but you don't want them too tight because you don't want to break the plastic that it's screwing into. So. There you go. I just wanted to make sure you guys do that. And also, before you put this on, make sure you plug in your fan. Do not forget to plug that fan in. All right. Let's uh, get it all back together and check out the temps.